I know that we just went through some of the details of our erosion and deposition unit, but I wanted to take the opportunity to go through a few things uh, just so that you might have the chance to uh, you know, go over them again and solidify the concepts. Uh, some of the words that we're going to be working with this unit are meander and delta, braided stream, erosion, and deposition. And uh, one of the big things that you're going to want to know is by looking at a stream, if you know which way the water is flowing, you need to be able to determine which banks are going to receive erosion and which are going to receive deposition, uh, knowing that every meander has to have erosion and deposition. Um, you're going to have a 50-50 shot of getting it right. So let's, let's, uh, let's just assume that the water is traveling in this fashion, in this direction, from left to right. That's the way the water is flowing. Every meander, which right now, if you kind of cut, here's a meander right here. And then let's make that transparent so we can see. Here's a meander right there, and then here's one, and here's one there, and then here's the start of another one. You can see that meanders are all over, and those again are really any curve or bend in the river or stream. It's the winding or the indirect path of a river or stream. And in every meander, there's one side or the other of the bank that is going to receive erosion or deposition. And if you know that water is flowing from left to right, you're always going to be able to tell which bank is going to be eroded. Uh, and that's always, always, always going to be uh, the outside of the curve or the outside of the meander. If we're just focusing on this meander right here, the outside of every curve, outside bank is going to receive erosion. And that's going to happen every time. So. Here's our erosion, and I'm going to label that every time erosion is going to happen on the outside of the curve. Now, the inside of every curve is going to experience deposition. And to uh, just briefly remind ourselves what deposition is and erosion is, Erosion is the carrying away or moving away of sediment by wind, water, or glaciers. And deposition is the laying down of that sediment by wind, water, or glaciers. So over time, what you're going to end up experiencing is this curve is going to, the, the, the top edge of this curve is going to uh, receive erosion. So as the water flows, you're going to get more and more of that cut being uh, removed. Now, I don't know why, why that happened there. Let me go back to scribble and try it again. There we go. So what's going to happen is more and more of this outside edge here is going to get, uh, the, the land there is going to get removed and sent further downstream somewhere. So this bank is going to continue to recede and it's going to get uh, larger and larger. So the uh, the bank itself is going to end up shaping this way, moving more and more this way. And this inside part of the curve, that's where sediment, uh, the water is slowing down here. So the lighter or the, the heavier sediments that are in this water, when the water reaches a slow, the heavier sediments are going to drift to the bottom of the bank and start to fill in this area. So instead of the water flowing this way, the water is going to actually flow more up this way. It's going to cut through this meander. So this meander is going to look more high or taller. And over here is going to be filled in with sediment. That's going to happen all throughout uh, the stream. Uh, so every meander, the outside curve, is going to receive uh, erosion and is always going to experience, uh, the inside is always going to experience deposition. So if we look at this meander down here, which is the outside and which is the inside curve seems to be the most difficult point to remember because once you can find the outside or inside portion of the curve, you can always know that the outside of the curve is going to be eroded. And the way that I try to remember this is by looking at a wheel. And every curve is a part of a wheel. I try to remember that. 
if I if this is a road and I'm traveling around a turn to the left this is the outside of the turn this is the inside of the turn if I'm traveling and if this is a road and I'm traveling around a curve to the right like this this is the outside of my curve and this is the inside if I'm in a car or a roller coaster and I go around a bend at high speed like this my body's going to get thrown to the outside of that curve because that's where the force is going to push me the most. So in a river or stream, when I'm going around a curve, the outside edge is where the fastest water is going to be. That's the water that has the most force. So that fastest moving water is going to be cutting into and uh, moving the sediments that it runs into right here. So if the fastest moving water is here, the slowest moving water is going to be on the inside of the curve. So if I'm, if instead of this being a stream, if I'm uh, playing Mario Kart and I go around this curve to the left, the outside of my curve is out here. So that's where the fastest moving water is going to be. That's where the force is pushing the water the fastest. So erosion is going to happen right here on the outside. And if the fastest moving water is right here, then that means the slowest moving water in this meander is on this side of the curve, so that's where deposition is going to occur. So let's kind of put all this into one quick video and enjoy a minute earth section to kind of put this into more of a entertaining uh, end to our time together. Compared to the white water streams that tumble down mountainsides, the meandering rivers of the plains may seem tame and lazy, but mountain streams are corralled by the steep walled valleys they call. So thank you Minute Earth, and thank you for checking out the quick video. Again, if you want to, uh, uh, if it's still not quite fresh in your mind or hasn't quite solidified, just rewind it and uh, start it all over again. Just click play. Again, remember that the outside of the curves is where the faster moving water is going to be. It has more force, so it's going to be able to move that sediment, and that's where you're going to get erosion. Here, 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 and here. On the insides of all these curves is where the water is going to move the slowest, so sediment is going to fall out of the water and be deposited here, 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 and here. Thanks for watching, and good luck.